That was a good rendition of the national anthem. We want to kick off by opening prayers because this world was created by prayers and uh, we are going to sustain it by prayers. It is prayers that has made us realize that November really is a dry season. Otherwise, it was really not till yesterday. But because the Son of Man, Elder God's Day, remember, wants to declare to the whole of Delta State his intention to bring back good governance into this state, the rains have ceased. The sun is shining, and we will continue to love the Lord. I call on Reverend Joel Joseph to come and do the opening prayer. Reverend Joel Joseph, please. Shall we all rise on our feet as we pray to honor the Lord God Almighty? Father, we thank you for this golden afternoon. We give thanks unto you because you have made it possible for us to be here. Thank you because this is the day that you have ordained. That the sound of your servant, uh, that goes the Peter Orugobe, should go forth from this altar to the end of Delta State. As he begin to exalt his horn today to become the next governor of Delta State. Therefore, Lord, we lift up this holy occasion to yourself. We ask, Lord, your spirit will take preeminence in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that the glory of God will tabernacle upon this event today. From the beginning to the end, your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree safety and security of everyone and every life that is present here today. And the end of this day, Lord, let it be known that the one that you have chosen today, the sound of his voice is going forth. And to the ends of the heavens and the earth, Lord, from the beginning of that to the end, your glory shall be revealed in the name of Jesus Christ. Ingla tu zubaha teheba, glade ravadi zohobediata, ibu kalibra to fasezehila, mangle to sakleto ukabada, esata la build the city, those who build the build in vain. Ingla tu zubehe, ravila to glato ha pahida, esata la wash over the house, there was man worship but in vain. Lord, this day you have gathered us here to build for us and to wash for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree the heaven and the earth will cooperate today to give glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. We neutralize every power of darkness. We scatter everything that will make this event, oh God, not to bring honor to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. You, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And everybody say, Lord, Amen. Amen. Give me, give, give me light. A very good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the arcade here at Nebisi Road in Asaba, Delta State. You're watching this event live on channels television here in Asaba, the capital of the Big Heart. I'm Charles Eruka. Well, once again, you are welcome to the official declaration ceremony of Elder Peter Godsday Urubebe, former minister of Niger Delta Affairs as an aspirant for the Delta State governorship ticket on the platform of the People's Democratic Party. Well, these are the people gathered here to listen to and probably support the bid of the former Niger Delta Affairs Minister declaring his intention to be the next governor of Delta State. It's the season and I'm not talking about the weather just yet. I'm referring to the political season when things are shaping up towards the 2015 general elections and beyond the campaign billboards and campaign posters, the contenders of party tickets are emerging. In the saddle, he is going to make sure Elder Gusto Uberbe gets to government house. And here, I want to call him, I have the honor of calling Chief Surveyor Terry Noah to give us a welcome address. The waiting chair, the waiting excellency, 
the waiting governor of Delta State, Elder Augusto Urubebe, and his lovely wife, Maureen Urubebe, respected ladies and gentlemen, members of the management team of DPF, the press, and all invited guests, you are welcome. Our dear leaders and all dignitaries gathered, I warmly welcome you all to the formal declaration ceremony of Elder Gosde Peter Rubebe COM. I am the Director General of the Delta People's Forum. This is an umbrella body saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that Deltans work together while propagating the gubernatorial ambition of our brother Elder Augusto Peter Rubebe. We are delighted to have you here to participate in this August occasion. If you are here today in this venue, it means you have come to show solidarity for a visionary who has decided to bring his wealth of political experience to affect positively the lives of his people in all ramifications. You are here a long time because you care about Delta State. You are here today because you want to ensure that round pegs are put in round holes when it comes to the governance of our dear Delta State. Delta State can be likened to a great canvas. And in 2015, we will, walk, we will like Deltans to throw as much paint as they can on the caverns of good governance to ensure that the man who the cow feeds wears it. The man that God said, Peter Rubebe, is the reason we are all gathered here today and thousands to throw weight behind his lofty vision and aspirations to govern Delta State. He is a grassroots politician who has gotten where he is today because of hard work, focus, and total dependence on God. He began his political calling at the River State School of Basic Studies, where he was public relations officer of the Students' Union. He then furthered this by serving as member of parliament at the University of Lagos. His leadership qualities were emerging in 1976, when he was the Imran House Prefect. Besar Grammar School, Bendel State, and then later the Library Prefect, all in 1976. In 1979, he was the Blue House Captain, Methodist High School on those states. He was also the President, Press Club, Methodist High School on those states, and then the Assistant Senior Prefect, Methodist High School of War. In 1981, he was the public relations officer, student student, School of Basic Studies for Accord. And in 1982, he was a parliamentarian, University of Lagos. On completion of his first degree in political science, he contested and won the councillorship in his ward, and later became the local government chairman of Brutu local government. 